Hello, I'm Dr. Anupama Tripathi Srikant, Senior Consultant and Aesthetist at Clinic 12 in Bangalore. General anesthesia using a laryngeal mask airway versus an endotracheal tube. This is a laryngeal mask airway. It's usually used for procedures which are of short duration, very helpful in children and for daycare procedures. This method does not require a patient to be paralyzed. However, a patient can continue breathing spontaneously or with an assisted ventilation by the anesthetist. This laryngeal mask sits inside the oral cavity right above the vocal cords. It does not cross the vocal cords. An endotracheal tube. It's used for procedures which are of little prolonged duration, probably more than 45 minutes to an hour, especially in the surgeries where the anesthetist needs to control the ventilation of a patient and the patient needs to be paralyzed for tolerating the endotracheal tube. Big advantage of an endotracheal tube is that the vomit is, is prevented from entering the lungs of the patient. The endotracheal tube, however, crosses the vocal cord and sits inside the trachea of the patient. During both the tubes, remember one thing, patient is unconscious, he or she do not feel it when it's gone inside. Disadvantages of the laryngeal mask airway are the way you can see it, Sometimes, if the oral cavity is abnormal, it may be technically difficult to insert the laryngeal mask air. Secondly, it does not prevent the secretions or vomitus from entering the lungs. Though newer models are available, which do help us in preventing to some extent. This advantage of an endotracheal tube is, again, if there is an anatomical abnormality of the oral cavity or there is difficulty in inserting the endotracheal tube, then it may not be permissible to use it. Secondly, often post-op patients have sore throat or some of them if it's a difficult insertion, patient may have vocal cord edema, hoarseness of voice, etc.